Um, I I just don't live by fear. I just don't live by fear. I trust God, and I just know God can do it. And God is so awesome. And it was, that's the home birth, and that's the living the birth. And if we just live our lives by faith, and we just trust God that He can do it. So I pray to God that I can do this for my wife, that, that I can see 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 my baby Janela being born. You know, when, when she came out, you know, like seeing her her head start to come out first, seeing her 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 eyebrow, her eyelashes, then her nose, then the top of her lip, other lip, and then her lips started moving like whoa. And then once that moment, whoop, and came right out. Like I was ready. Boom. I'm looking right at her. And she's guess what? She was dry. Today, I'm going to talk about some topics today that many people have, have had questions about when it comes to um, um, delivering my baby, my, my youngest baby girl, um, um, Janala Kante. And wow, guys, there's so many things to say. So, so first, you know, first, let, let's just, Lord God, we love you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for all things. We bless your name. We just thank you for you. Lord God, may this bless you. May this bless those that are watching. And with everybody you see here, um, whoever they are, whatever the need is, Lord God, may it encourage them, whether they're about to have a child for the first time, or it's their second or third or more, or whatever it is, only the first time trusting you, or, or they got to trust you again. I do that. In Jesus' name. All right. So now, coming from a, coming from a man's perspective here, uh, you know, many, many women, you can see many things about women on YouTube and different places, but... The men really talk about certain things. So for me, um, this was our second child, our second child. And the first time we had a child, it was awesome. It was a supernatural birth, and I'm sure you can go on the link and you can go to the description to find out about our other child, super supernatural uh, childbirth and how that was. But this time around, we were like, you know what? Last time, we had the birth in the hospital. But this time, we wanted to have the birth at home. That's what we wanted. And my me and my wife discussed, and you know we talked about it, and, and, and we wanted to have the a home birth. Okay, now there's a lot into that, but I would just short down some things. So we wanted a home birth, but we didn't have a home. We were trusting God for the home, and then God delivered and gave us a home. He gave us a promise, and God did. You can look, you can check our other video about how we got the home. That's a whole other testimony. But God gave us a home, and we trusted God for a home birth. Before we had a home. Now we have a home. Now, okay, but well, we have the home. Now, to have a home birth, how do we do it? How do, how do we do a home birth? So we had to find out, we had to understand, we had to see testimonies. Well, okay, you know, there's, there's tubs and, and, and you do it in, in water, or it can be not in water, all these things. Okay, let's do this. All right, there's all sorts of ways you can do this, and, and God provided so many of our needs on doing that. But we found out that there was a cost. We found out that, that there's a cost either either renting out a tub or or you know all these different costs you have to have. Then there's a cost on on hiring somebody. You know, all different names. I'm, I'm gonna speak non-technical right now. Now I'm gonna use non-technical terms. I'm gonna use bare bone English here. Like we have to hire we have to hire somebody to to you know to to deliver the baby. You know that that's I'm just no terms here. You know, this is all you meant out here. Don't don't know about the terms. A lot of terms you're gonna learn. I learned a whole bunch of things. If you don't know, it's okay. Just know that somebody has to deliver the baby. Pull the baby out. Don't pull, but let the baby come out. So so you gotta hire somebody. So I found that there's a cost for a tub itself. Then there's a cost for somebody to deliver the baby, and then there's other costs for other people with other descriptions. You know, if they're there to coach you through it or different things they do, and for today's purposes, I'm also not saying the, the names of some of these occupations because some of the terms, some of the names mean so many different things. So I just, I just believe in, in, in uh, what I support. I don't want to support 
something that goes against the Lord. So also do your research. Understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. So speaking of things that that don't uh, benefit you that great. Like I said, we, we had a hospital birth before. And in the hospital, I remember it was cold and uncomfortable. And, you know, they were like constantly checking us like every five minutes. Like they, they say get rest, you couldn't get rest. It was so many things going on. Even for me, as a husband, there was so many things going on. I just want to talk to my wife and pray. But yet, we can have our own Christian music because we're in the hospital. Um, we were allowed to have, I believe, popsicles at one point of it, I believe. But then there was another section of it where we couldn't. And then we had to ask them for it. You know, all these different things. Once again, cold. I didn't like being cold. And it's a cold place. You're looking around. It's, it has a hospital feel. Sign all these papers. They didn't tell us that you don't have to take shots. So we had to inquire and say, hey, do we have to? Like, we don't want to. Oh, you don't want to? Oh, you don't want to? Well, here's the benefits. No, I don't want to. After standing on ground, then they finally said, okay, you know what? You don't have to. After we stood our ground. And then we signed papers, you know, saying that, you know, saying that we agreed not to do this and it's on us not to do it. But yet they didn't suggest it to us. So we do all those hoops and hurdles just to get what we wanted. So, once again, coming back to this birth, what we wanted, we want our home birth, where instead of being in this cold place, we're in our own place. Have Instead of no music, we have our Christian music, set the atmosphere, do these, do, do these things. This is what we wanted. This is why we wanted a home birth. Of course, once again, fellas, my wife wanted it. So, whatever your wife wants in a situation, you know, Definitely, you know, talk with her so you understand what she wants. I mean, what, like, like, even in a home birth, what style of home birth? What do you want? Like, do you do you want an atmosphere set? Do you want um, scriptures on the wall? Like, like, talk with your wife. Now, maybe, I don't know, maybe she don't want any scriptures. Maybe she just wants a blank wall. But like, whatever she wants. Like, maybe she wants a rope so she can pull the rope. Like, like whatever she wants, talk to your wife because you don't want to give her something that she doesn't want. So I told my wife that we got understanding and everything. We trusted God a lot of things. Now, remember I told you there was a cost to the person delivering the baby, and there's a cost to the to the to the tub if we get a rental tub. But mind you, again, God blessed us when we when we got our house, and our house had a tub that was you know a tub we could use for a home birth. So look at God. God's doing it. So at first, when we saw the price of the tub, it's like Lord, how are you going to do this? Well, I didn't, I didn't get stuck on the how. God kept telling us he was going to fulfill our needs and, and do things for us. And we have faith. God, I have faith in you that we can have a home birth. I have faith in you that we can have this baby at home. Because we didn't like the situation at the hospital where they didn't tell us, you know, things like you're not supposed to cut the little cord too quick or else the nutrients doesn't go to the baby all the way. Like, they didn't tell us some of these things. You know, like, like they didn't tell us... Um, you know, you're not supposed to push on the stomach, you know, and after the baby's born, and all these things we didn't know. I'm, I'm putting my trust in doctors knowing limited information, all this stuff. And then it's that thing of, well, I got to get to the hospital. And now you're trying to get there, pack all this stuff, and you know, did I bring enough, go through all these hoops and hurdles, you know, but in verse being in your home, your own comfortable home, you're right there. Boom. You have strangers around you. So, with this, we have faith that God will do it. Now, we look at the money. And for us, to be honest, for us, it was like, okay, Lord, we see the money it costs. And it, it seemed to be, you know, quite a bit of money for just a, just a, a tub itself. Like, if we were to rent out a tub itself. But, Lord, like, how are we going to do this? So, so, as we did this, it was just, it was just awesome. So we trusted God. Lord, I trust you that you will either provide or, or you will find a way, somehow, some way, to provide this tub for us. And I told you that before we had the house, that he gave us the house and the tub. Then, so God provided. So all of a sudden, that will let you know, Lord, I don't have to worry about money. You provide. You answer our prayers. Does God not answer your prayers? Especially if you pray in his name, the name of Jesus, when you want to call the Lord. And in right standing, believe in faith, God answers your prayers. He answers. We found out God answers us. All right? But now it's like, okay, 
Now we need somebody to do, to deliver the baby. And there's all, all these different terms you can find on your research. You can find out who delivers the baby and, and who's there to support. So we find out it's kind of funny. Just like just like uh, Mary and Joseph, there was no room in the inn. So it, it literally felt like they were booked. Every place we contacted, they were booked. They were booked and they were priceless. But I'm not trying to scare you on the price. But we had to trust God. God, you're going to provide for us. God, and as doors kept closing, I did one important thing. I didn't lose my faith. I, I, there was not one time I spoke to my wife and said, well, wife, I guess we can't. No, there wasn't one time. I either, I either said I have faith or I didn't say anything at all. But I didn't say anything against the faith. So, when we trusted God, boom, God answered in a really great way. God actually had my wife get a connection. And I can, you know, he give you details more understanding if you haven't already on another video. But God gave my wife uh, a connection with someone who who would help us out with, you know, with giving birth. And guess what? God blessed us that we ended up paying no money. Now, I'm saying this to say, to give you faith that God can do it. Remember, your situation might be different. Your situation, God may, God may just bless you with all the money you need. So, so, so don't be distracted if they give you a price. If they give you a price, then trust God and pray that God will meet your needs, however that is. For us, he met our needs by making it free. Now, here we are, free, we're, we're getting taught things. These are all the stuff on the internet. We learned all this stuff, but then we learned even more from this person. Like, wow, now we know how to do it. We're ready, we're focused, we learn new stuff. Here we go, and here's what happened. Long story short, the day of, here it is, the water broke. It's time to go. We're in the, in the time. But that person ended up not being there because according to what they're taught and how it's supposed to be, it wasn't supposed to be time to give birth yet. According to that, we have hours and plenty of hours left, plenty of time left according to what they told us. But I was in position. So key thing is be in position, be ready. So what I forgot to tell you was we were told that this person was going to help us deliver the baby. What I mean by help is teaching us and showing us and coaching us, but not physically delivering the baby. So once we were told that, then I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm here. I'm here to deliver this baby. I'm here to do it. Now, I've seen movies and, and, and shows where it would be like a guy in, in some limousine going somewhere in traffic. All of a sudden, the water broke and they got to deliver the baby in the car. I would watch stuff like that, but I never thought it would be me. I never thought it would be me. But here I was. But here's the key thing. Our Lord, I trust you for a home birth. I trust you that there'll be no complications. That the, the, the umbilical won't, won't wrap, will not wrap around the baby's neck. Um, everything will be great. Will not be over bleeding. Speaking of that, I found out that bleeding is not the amount of blood. It depends on each woman. You know, so don't be scared by the amount of blood you see either. So I just pray God got everything worked right. Of course, I like catch the baby correctly, everything, and God did it. Supernatural birth, part two, and, and the baby was born within minutes. And my wife, once again, was in no pain. Again, no pain. I'm telling you, no pain. No pain. And, and God just did it. And it was just awesome. And this is what God can do. So that is why we, that's why I delivered the baby. Now, um, I, I just don't live by fear. I just don't know about fear. I trust God, and I just know God can do it. And God is so awesome. And so we, that's the home birth, and that's the living the birth. And we just live our lives by faith. And we just trust God that he can do it. So I praise God that I can do this for my wife, that, that I can see 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 my baby Janela being born. You know, when, when she came out, you know, like seeing her, her head start to come out first, seeing her, her, her eyebrow, her eyelashes, then a nose, then the top of the lip, other lip, and then the lip started moving like whoa. And then once that moment, whoop, came right out. Like I was ready. Boom. I'm looking right at her. And she's guess what? She was dry and clean. That's what God can do. So it's awesome. So I say, men, pray, be there for your wives, and whatever that means, you don't have to copy me, but be there for your wives. And be willing to do stuff, but also do your research. Know the stuff that's happening at some hospitals. Know that 
if you need the blue core in to get more, more more nutrients to your baby. Understand these things and know you have a healthy baby without all these shots. It has repercussions because they tell you to have a shot. It sounds kind of familiar. A shot they tell you to have that has repercussions. Don't you know that every single shot that has some type of consequence to it? So what are we why, why are we doing this? I mean, are we taking something because you might have something? Is that called faith? Not in my book. Faith is what God is leading you to do. If God tells you or leads you, fine. But God's not leading you. Don't do the just in case. Trust God. You trust the God, baby's fine, wife's fine, and I'm fine. So that's just my testimony today of how I uh, delivered the baby. And of course, God was the one that did it. Trust the God. God's my strength. You know, God, you know, that's why I didn't faint, wasn't scared. God's with me. I'm like, I, Lord, I trust you. He's my strength. He was definitely to be with my wife. And that's it. I just trusted God. First time doing it. It wasn't like I was a pro. My first time delivering a baby. So I trusted God. Trust God. And he'll supply everything you need.